I was gonna say, was it the T-Mobile guy or the Verizon guy that had like all those people? But it was the Verizon. Then he switched over to T-Mobile, I think. Yeah. Yeah, damn. I forgot his name. Trader yeah. vibes. Was it what? I don't know. I don't know his name. He was <laughs> oh, saying he was a trader. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, he made the. That's switch. fair, right? It's yeah. okay to be a trader. Fair game. <laughs> <Honestly>. <laughs> damn, encouraging me to trade is crazy. Um, welcome to a new episode of the Grease Couch Chronicles, of course, DCC for short, episode 233, you know what I mean? 233, that's yeah. two three threes? Yeah, <laughs> it's two threes, <laughs> that's nice. Um, before we do get started, make sure you shop Glow Nude. Sugar <laughs> Yes, guys, make sure you follow us on our Instagram at glow.nude. <laughs> <laughs> organic skincare products for your skin, for every skin. Again, make sure you follow us on our Instagram at glow.nude. Nude scrubs are on sale. Get them while they're hot. Eight dollars. They used to be fifteen. Yeah, times have changed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. times have changed. Um, so pretty much Halloween's coming up, and um, I was talking last week about not really knowing about Halloween. You know what I mean? Yeah. And as it gets closer, my views hasn't really changed. So you know what I mean? I feel like, of course, with you know, I mean the hurricanes in yeah. Florida. Like times and, then, and it, North Carolina, yeah, South things are happening. So like, yeah. pardon me for not wanting Being to dress up <laughs> and uh, you know, what I mean, cherish the Halloween. But of course, if you have, I guess, kids in your life as well, it's like big for the kids. Like the kids love Halloween. Yeah, you do it for the kids. Yeah, yeah, for um, the children. Certain parents for like they, their costume gotta kind of mimic the kids' costume. Nah. If we're being, you know, the kids want to be grapes, you got to be grapes too. You know what I mean? I so, think, or, or some type of fruit. I think some people just use their kids as like a way of getting off the costume. But, but the thing is, certain people want to be that for the kid. You know what I mean? Well, like, true. I guess, yeah, yeah. Like, I want you to have a good childhood in a sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so I that's, what, that's what I see it as. You know what I mean? Like, because mm. especially being Jamaican too, like, we don't play that shit. Like, yeah, Jamaicans don't. don't play that. Halloween shit. I don't be beat to celebrating it that deep. But I be like, like, I be, I be with it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, on, like, on a one Halloween. off thing, not, <laughs> not in like deep in it. I like the costume thing. I like, I like, I like mystical stuff, stuff that's like, call it a spooky sci fi. <laughs> yeah, like, what? A spooky carnival. <laughs> a spooky carnival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I like the old, the whole dressing up aspect of it but um people have a view of it being negative you know what i mean they are the dead vibes demonic. scary vibes demonic vibes at least um if we're not being light with the whole costuming thing people yeah. have that view of it but you know what i mean if you're if you're keeping it playful and joyful of course you know it's about costumes and dressing up and all that stuff so and eating candy i like that um we wanted to talk about uh scary movies right yeah like, what are uh, some theme. good Halloween, like, scary movies? Like, some top... Let's do a couple. Let's do a couple. So, they have Halloween on here. The Halloween franchise. Oh, yeah. Right. With Marnie. Um, <laughs> I feel like we talk about Halloween, every Halloween. Right? Huh? They did that on purpose. I feel like every Halloween, you kind of get slid into talking about the series, Halloween, yeah. the movie series. Of course. Like, they did that. Like What a way to capitalize. It, they named, they named it Halloween. So, Makes how do they even do that, right? Yeah. Disney, yeah. right? They own it, things. Yeah. They but, got um, The Conjuring. Yeah. The Conjuring, yeah. Uh, Scream. Scream wasn't scary. It was more like a joke thing, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, <laughs> it's more funny. <laughs> Is it? Are these, like, top scary movies? They're not, like, top movies that are scary. You get what I'm saying? Popular horror movies. Okay, so they're supposed to be movies that are scary. Yeah, horror. <laughs> You're <a> horror. <laughs> <laughs> they sound the same. Like, yeah. They can spell Why it would differently. they do that? English language, man. <laughs> You're a horror. You're a horror horror. <laughs> I'm trying to start singing. Um, the, the, You're a horror horror. You're a horror horror. I whore. just got You were saying it twice. No, <laughs> I just got it. Oh. No, I'm they got the Exorcist. Okay, yeah, I know uh, about that one. I'm not a fan of like the demon spirits living in people's. Bodies. But they're very like a lot of movies mimic that. Yeah. In the horror. <laughs> the the 
The Ring. <laughs> Nah, the, the rings, ring. yeah, the ring was okay. It's nah. like you had like seven days to live or something like that. Yeah, something like that. You heard the phone ring and then you had a. <laughs> like, she was coming out of a ring. You heard the. You heard the she was coming out of a, a ring water. <laughs> she was coming out of a ringworm. <laughs> a ring. You heard the the phone ring. And, you, <laughs> and then you and if you were wearing a ring, <laughs> sorry, no, sorry. but you had like seven days to live or something. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay. That wasn't. That's not. Scary. Yeah, it was all right. It was the whole chainsaw thing that kind of like, yeah. Poltergeist? <laughs> Polter a couple guys, hey. <laughs> um, Insidious. Insidious was... Again. Insidious? Yeah, Insidious. That sounds confusing. Some demon, once again. It was not scary. He was pretty oh, much balloon. dancing the whole the movie. Now nah, they say he was like... Pennywise. He was doing some bad stuff. I don't. I didn't watch it because, like, I'm not with that movie. But yeah, I think it was more more than just j- dancing. To be honest with you, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Carrie? Let's do a little more research on that. Carrie. Yeah, I know about Carrie. Yeah, yeah these things blood. are very. Yeah, these things are in a realm of. Uh, to scary. me, to me, when I think of scary movies, I think of the movies I liked that was supposed to be scary, like the Chucky. You remember Chucky, right? Yeah, Chucky wasn't that bad. That was okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, I used to be afraid of Chucky, right? <laughs> but now, now that I'm going over in my it's head, like it's a doll. It's a doll, and he is like, he's kind of funny. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was making jokes. Yeah, so he had a family. You know that, right? He did. Like his wife, <laughs> kids. No, my life. Would you consider the Final Destination scary movies? Yes, those haunt me. Like those are scary. I still to me. think about them to this I, day. I think about it constantly. Till this day, a lot. Like, and I, think I don't they're... think people should be watching movies that do that to you. You yeah. think we? You think we're? You think we can handle movies that are just scarring? No, I can't. No, nah, but do you think like we should be watching us them? as a society? Yeah, you think we should be watching them? No, I don't. Think like, so. like the whole Menendez brothers documentary. Apparently, oh, I, it's I about the story them. about the young boys who oh, yeah, uh, yeah, killed yeah, their yeah. parents, and they say it starts off like. On that type of vibe. So, of course, seeing that and not being someone who's seen it first. And now you're watching that, especially with the whole, the whole, um, the guy who had, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're actively watching these things that are. So though, those people watch stuff like that, people, which yeah, is people, why they, people like your average person, like, yeah, would watch that. I'm saying, all right, that's kind of. Scarring on your no 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 I'm saying did Jeffrey Dahmer himself watch stuff like like criminal I don't know, I don't know his like story that. I don't know his story oh, okay. I'm saying I don't watch these things because I feel like there's a way that mentally it's like layering a pattern in your mind in that your mind. This, this is like this is okay for me to for me to watch and there's a study that says that you should be kind of wary Weary, of yeah. people who relax to this like they this is their <laughs> way of relaxing. What watching was, murder. What I was going to say is that, like, I feel like it, it honestly depends on your personality. Because I feel like if something is mentally wrong, I f- don't, don't get me wrong. I feel like everybody is capable of going there. Granted, the situation, like, it takes us, like, a special something to happen to you for you to turn to that. But I feel like for certain people, it's so simple. Like, they could kill and not feel nothing. So, yeah, it's psychopaths. Yeah, and I feel psycho like psycho killer. <laughs> I feel like it, it, it has to be psycho killer. A special type of person. <laughs> now I was watching a movie. I think it was called um, what was it called, man? It, it had Vin Diesel in it, and um, like they had that scene just like on loop, on loop? and that was the song for that type of scene because it was like they're programming him to be a certain way, like an android. But yeah. That's where that's from, but um, yo, I just feel like there's something wrong with that. If if you if you like seek comfort in murder, in murder, right? I yeah. I do too. Like, I and can't... it's real. That happened. Yeah, so, stuff like that. I'm not comfortable. I don't know. With. But what were you what were you getting to? I wanted to talk about the family friendly horror movies now, <laughs> like Hocus Pocus and uh, okay horror. I don't know about horror, but they're family friendly. So horror. <laughs> so it's like. It's kind of scary, but do you... It's, I guess it's... Yeah, it's, it's like level one scary. Yeah, like baby scary. So we're talking about level one scary. I like level one scary. Do you remember The Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy? Like, that was a good Disney Channel movie, yo. Oh, he was a ghost? I think so. 
Mm. I don't remember the plot. Let's see. Let's read it real quick. Workaholic real estate agent um, Jim Evers, which is Eddie Murphy, is accused by his wife, Sarah, of neglecting his son and daughter. So he takes the family on vacation along the way. The oh, no, a house was haunted. Off, yeah, of Yeah, course. at a sinister mansion that Jim has been asked to sell only to discover it's haunted by a master. That's crazy. His yeah, it was, ha- it was haunted. Ramsey and other two servants. Wow, that I remember like, that being kind of like a light movie still. You know what I mean? Like it was yeah. it was scary, but it was like level one scary. You it know was what I mean? True. I'm trying to remember from like Casper, level one scary. Yeah, you know I mean? Casper's on here too. Um Oh, they got more? They got Nightmare Before Christmas. Not scary. <laughs> that was really scary. Corpse. What's scary about Christmas? Yeah, the corpse bride. Yeah. Two wicked with no gifts, that's scary. Damn. Huh? What'd you say? No, I'm yeah, no I was saying what's scary about Christmas? Oh. If you wake if you wake up and there's no gifts. Like like there were gifts last night. <laughs> now there's and none. And now there's none. So. It's like what you doing in your sleep? Talk but if that. all week you've looking under the tree and there's been nothing. And you wake up Christmas morning and there's nothing, like all right, you know what I mean? There was nothing yesterday, so all right, let's do top ten Halloween candies. Candies, all right. All right. I don't like candy corn. I'm gonna just get that out of the way. Yeah, let's so that's it's not even not and I've eaten it. I've eaten it maybe more than I've, I wanted to. I've tried it. I was like, you know what? Let me just give this another chance from the first time, of course. I mean, I tried it the first time and hated it immediately like a normal person. And then the next time I was like, you know what? Maybe I was overreacting the first time. And then I ate it again. And that was, I was still like, yeah, this I shouldn't eat this. It just tastes- Now I'm at the point where I'm not going to do a third time. It, it, it tastes like a candle. Like, that's why I don't like it. It tastes like you're eating somebody's finger. <laughs> Like somebody else's finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, don't like want to eat it. But the top 10 Halloween candies are Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Nice. Which is valid because they're good. Um, M&M's. I like it, but I feel like it's kind of cakey. You got to put it in the freezer. Once okay. You put it, the trick is to put it in the freezer, then eat it. Okay. Um, you said what was Reese's Pieces? Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Re- no, what was next? Oh, M&M's. Okay. <laughs> Snickers. Peanut butter M and M's, Twix, Kit Kat. So people like to eat chocolate on Halloween. Yeah, that's that's where it's at. Mm. Um, they have Hershey's, Milky Way, Sour Patch Kids, and Skittles. Okay, Skittles and Sour Patch Kids are the only sweets. I thought Starburst should be on here. Yeah, Starburst should be there. Um, when I was young, I was definitely looking for that Kit Kat. Um, you know, break me off a piece of that. Yeah, I was definitely. And um, looking for I was Kit-Kats looking too. for Crunch Bars, gummy bears. Yeah, I was gummy looking for bears gummy bears, good. Kit Kat, Snickers. Yeah. And that was my top. But um, I feel like as far as Halloween and the candy, I feel like we should give people more than that. You know more than I mean? candy? More than candy. What, what do they want? Advice? <laughs> like, no, 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 What should they get? Money? Hear me out. Bread? Fortune. Fortune? Fortune. <laughs> like cookies? <laughs> like what kind of fortune you brought the cookies into the conversation i didn't i don't care for the cookies do you eat it do you eat it hell no you don't eat it i don't like fortune cookies i eat it sometimes i feel like somebody's <laughs> finger is crazy like, uh. you know, if it's like you're eating if it's like you're eating like you ever, you ever made those like who are you gonna marry like, <laughs> yeah that's why i never i feel like i'm eating one of those <laughs> i feel like Every time I think about a fortune cookie, I feel like somebody like was fingering it up before they shoved it into mm-hmm. the bag. Yeah, and if I don't it, like that. Feeling. It feels like eating a glove. Yeah, like a leather like glove. The inside of somebody's callous skin. Yeah. Like I don't. But um, no, I wasn't <laughs> thinking of the cookies. I was what gonna think bowl candy fortune. Don't go in there like you're gonna grab mad fortunes. You grab some candy and in the bowl fortune. So you're gonna grab some candies and no, in a fortune. But what do you expect from the fortune? Whatever. What do fortune say? <laughs> All right. This week will be everlasting. Like what? I feel like they need to up it. Like they need to hand out gift cards and, you know. No. No? No, that's too much. That's too much? That's too much, no. I'm pretty sure certain neighborhoods it's like that. Of course. Give but me V-Bucks. Yo, for Robux. sure. There's certain neighborhoods they give you. Like, yeah. that's crazy. But I was thinking on the side of. Like some fortune, that'd be nice, right? Yeah. Imagine you go, you put your hand in a boat, you pull out a fortune, or you like know I mean? you know, look, your future's you looking bright. Or oh, Tamagotchi, nice. you know? I like this. I Ta- you you want toys? Oh yeah, like why not? Oh, that's not bad. 
The dollar, the Dollar Tree store. Little Dollar Tree toys. I got, I got something to say about Dollar Tree. Coloring books. You know, you know, there's an active effort with Yahoo.com, Bing.com, and all the dot coms that people don't like have, like 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 everybody use Google Chrome, right? (laughs) So if you open up a Microsoft Edge, it's gonna open up like a Yahoo.com or or like a Bing, right? So there's an active effort for these home pages to push Dollar Tree. I don't know why. And they don't even have to push Dollar Tree. Ten things you should buy at Dollar Tree. And it's like, you click on the link, it's like, yo, this is, yeah, like, I would, like, seeds. Like, yeah, vases, candles. I'm like, you know, picture frames. I'm like, yo, shit, okay. Yeah, I would would buy this from Dollar Tree. But to see this, and then the next day, eight items, you you have to buy at Dollar Tree. And I'm like, wait. You engaged, that's the thing. You made a a post yesterday about ten. No, I'm saying there, there, there are posts that exist. On these Already? sites, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on why and what you should buy from Dollar Tree. You don't have to convince anybody to get nothing from Dollar Tree. So like, why, why is there an active effort to push this company? I don't know, but I just thought Maybe that was a Maybe it's a, a, a offload, you know? What do you mean, offload? Uh, a front for something. Mm. Racketeering. Do you think... Let, <laughs> let me not do put you that think? in jacket. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. I'm not putting that in the jacket. No, this is a comedy podcast. I don't know why we're inside your news. <laughs> This don't is, know. Take us out of there. This is a joke thing. <laughs> but I feel like um, I don't know. Like I, th- I thought it was a little funny. So I was like, I don't know why they're doing this. <laughs> you know, it's an active yeah. effort to make sure this company is successful. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, do you think that the products in the store is American made? So it's a way to kind of push American economy, maybe. Ah, uh, no, I don't. May- well, maybe some of them probably mm, could be right. But then again, the containers is probably from China. Why not? They're telling us to shop there and what to buy from there. So I was like, okay, this is, this is hey, 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 what's okay. going on? I mean, that's true. But moving on, um, costumes, right? Over the years, it's, it's always been um, Let's see where it's a going. superhero from my set, like I said last week. I've always been a superhero. Um, I still don't got an answer for you guys this week. Sorry. Do you, do you have an answer for them? You, I, you still don't know, right? I know I'm I probably going to have to put something together but yeah i don't have an idea of what i'm gonna put together if you don't, I don't have as, no idea I, yeah i don't know this team some shit, shit shit's going on guys honestly man shit's happening man life, life's life right now and we're not thinking about that i would not right imagine now. these costumes so you got the corpse bride these are the top costumes of last year or just in general yeah let me take off 2024 i don't know why that was my first one okay so you have of course a ghost Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Have, um, yeah, that's 2024 for sure. <laughs> Going crazy on Amazon, probably. Yeah. You got cheerleaders. Always cats, nurses, yeah. angels, demons. Witches. Need warlocks. those. We need angels and demons, apparently, and more cats. Chucky and Chucky's Bride. Okay. Mad at those. You have. Um, Is this what's on Amazon's front page for costumes? No, this Where is you what, get these from? This was on Google. Okay. Um, you have the Scooby Doo cast. Niggas love doing that. Ascot. I want to wear a good ascot. <laughs> like Fred, right? Nice ascot. You have fairies, the Ninja okay. Turtles. Ninja, okay. Um, peanut butter and jelly. Are people like in these guys? <laughs> yeah. You have cowboy. Yo, Gen Z, cowboy. put put some of these up. You don't gotta go too crazy, but put some of them up. Dora. Okay. And Joker. Map. I feel like the map is a good costume. Spider Man, of course. So you have the superheroes, of yeah, course. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much all that. Of course, pumpkin, skeleton, stuff like that. I don't know. I might just wear some black pants and a white t shirt and go as Zach Afron from Seventeen again. Yeah, just keep your hands <laughs> in your pocket. <laughs> you can definitely pull it off. <laughs> I might go to the wig store and get one of those <laughs> coconut, wigs. coconut wigs. <laughs> Justin Bieber wigs. <laughs> Wear a leather jacket. <laughs> oh, I could be Samurai Jack. <laughs> It'd be so easy. I'm going to be Samurai Jack. It'd be so easy. It's done. I'm Zac Efron. She's Samurai Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but um, do we have any music for them? Let's see. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Wait, no. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we have any music? Let's see. Um, I've been bumping 
some some alternative believe alternative. it or not i've been i've been in the alternative uh field um right now uh what i've been listening to this band i've been on the band wave um that's what i mean by alternative like rock alternative rock music um i've been bumping some capital cities <laughs> and i've been bumping some friendly fires so yeah that's where I've been with my music taste. Um, um, the BET Awards happened, right? BET Hip Hop Awards. It looked like Kendrick Lamar swept, swept up some, some um, awards I was hearing from my rep at the BETs. Shout out to her. All right, BET. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I believe the BET Hip Hop Awards was yesterday. Uh, we shoot on Thursday, so yeah, Wednesday night or Thursday. Yeah, you know, either Wednesday night or Tuesday night. I'd just be so out of it, guys. I'm so sorry. But, you know, we like to make it entertaining here. So, yeah. Quick Fox. Shout <laughs> out to host, The host was Fat Joe. Really? Yes. Winners. Well, Lyris is uh, BT. I mean, um, Oh, Nicki Lamar. Minaj. Usher. Tyler. Missy Elliott performed. Lineup. Oh, he had eight wins, Kendrick. Lotto performed too. Wow. Um, Hip hop artist of the year, Kendrick Lamar. Nominated was 20, 21 Savage, Cardi B, and Drake. Future, Glorilla, Meg The Stallion, and Nicki Minaj. Artist of the year, Kendrick Lamar took that home. They really gave him that yeah. loop, of course. The winner for hip hop album of the year was Nicki Minaj with Pink Friday too. Really? Shout outs to her. I'm give her a bomb. Pink Friday that? was good. Yeah, that's that the needle joint with Drake on it. And that the was everybody. This year? Yeah. It's been a crazy year, I know. Damn. We on the tenth month. It's a long year. Yeah, it's been it. It's been it. Um Song of the Year, of course. Could, you, like could you could you guess what that is? Not like us. Could you just guess. Because they're just not. They're just not like us. Like really? even a little bit. They're not even a little bit like us. They're just not. And um we got best collaboration. Like that with Metro Boom and Future and Kendrick Lamar. Oh, let's start. So now that's the third award for Kendrick Lamar. Shenanigans. Um, the best hip hop video. Could you guess what that could be? Being that the best hip hop song. Are what? they really serious? They really gave him a back to back like that. Best hip hop video, Kendrick Lamar with "Not Like Us." I guess it was good. Everybody said it was good. I've been a Kendrick fan for a long time, so. I mean, yeah, but I'm just saying, like. Best breakthrough, year? yeah. Best break breakthrough hip hop artist winner, uh, sexy red. And um, the Verified, nominees were forty one. Don't know who that is. Three one three ten baby. Don't know who that is. Boss man D Lo. Kind of know who that is. Cash Cobain. Shout out to Cash. Shout Lady out. London. Skilly, Skilla baby no? and Tommy Richmond. I feel like um, sexy red has had a way more successful year. Um, Cash Cobain took over the summer, of course, and. Yeah. He took over most of the spring. What about but four sexy. bats? That's a good question. Um, we got best duo and group. Four bats fell off. Like obviously, he did. I mean, like, what about four bats? <laughs> they, they didn't. Even, he wasn't even a nominee. <laughs> he should have been. But, um, they that eight it was is, fire. It is what it is. It's, and the it's other the, one. It's the hip hop awards. These are people that are just saying things. So you know, that's what it is. Um, and you know, shouts to BET honestly because. Shots to BT. <laughs> yeah. Um Best Duo Group, uh Future and Metro Booming. Um uh, many nominees. There was Kanye West and Tao Dial Sign, Two Chains and Lil Wayne. There was um forty one, which is Kyle Rich, Jen Carter, and Tata. Common and Pete Rock, of course, Earth Gang, Flyana Boss, Chicks that be running around, and of course Rick Ross and Meek Mill. But overall, oh, Future and Metro Booming. Shout out to the chicks that we got. You know, they got the best duo group. So yeah, that's cool as hell. They yeah. got nominated. So shout out to them. Post them up on Gen Z. We got the best live performer, Missy Elliott, like I said. Shout out to Missy um, Elliott. The nominees were Burner Boy, Busta Rhymes, Cardi B, Drake, Glorilla, Kendrick Lamar, Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, and Travis Scott. And Nicki, Ma I'm sorry, and Missy Elliott took it. Could you believe that? Throwbacks don't ever throw them back. Um, we got video of the year being uh, Dave Free and Kendrick Lamar. Uh, video director of the year, sorry. And I believe this would have to be because of Not Like Us. Um, producer of the year, The Alchemist. Shout out to Al, honestly. Shout out to Kendrick. Shout out to Alchemist for sure. DJ of the year, Alchemist. He's also a DJ. 
Hustle of the year. Didn't know they did this. 50 Cent. <laughs> we had nominees being ASAP Rocky, Cameron, Mace, Cardi B, Drake, Fat Joe, Glorilla, Kendrick Lamar, and Meg Thee Stallion. Didn't know we had a Hustle of the year. Yeah, they go on to doing some other things I've never really heard of, but they got Sweet 16 Best Featured Verse. Kendrick Lamar would like that. Right, Not really sure what that means. Yeah. And we got Impact Tracked. Just take a, a guess amongst guests on what the best Impact Track of 2024 All right, is. so the rest of the stuff is pretty much Kendrick Lamar suit. Yes, I'm not going to continue, but uh, that has been the be- BET Kendrick, I mean the BET Hip Hop Award. <laughs> uh, that concludes our episode today. It's our very first run through. Um, yeah. You know, thank you guys for being here. 233. We ain't take a break. And we just ran through. You know, yeah, so. <laughs> make sure you keep a, keep in touch with us. You know what I mean? Make sure you subscribe on all platforms, follow on all platforms. Degrees Couch Chronicles. Make sure you shop Glow Nude. We got the scrubs on sale. They are now eight dollars. Was fifteen dollars. We're giving you a break. <laughs> Things are happening right on. now. <laughs> got anything else for them? No. As always, reward ourselves. Reward everyone outside. Be safe out there, guys. Peace.